In this video, I'm going to look at using the InnoVista mobile list to simulate the type of animated list that is commonly used in mobile devices. The list will be styled with a background image, and each item in the list will have its own icon. Here we can see an example of what we will create. We use a button to open the list, touch scroll through the list, and then tap the value we want to select. The button is then updated with that value. To create this, first drag an InnoVista mobile list to the Excelsius canvas. For the list source data, we must have at least one column, and that will be the value shown in the list tile. The other columns are optional. We can also add an ID and an icon. If we're loading files from our local hard disk, the file structure must be in URL format. In other words, file, colon, forward slash, forward slash, forward slash, and equally the separators between the directories must be forward slashes. Next, use the list value property editor to tell the list where to put the selected item in the spreadsheet. We're not using IDs here, but if we were, we'd use the list ID property. Select add tile images to add the images. You can see the list tiles are not tall enough to show the images. Use the tile height slider to adjust this. Use the tile spacing slider to adjust the distance between the tiles. We can also use images to style the list tile background and if required have a different image for a selected and non-selected tile. Navigate to the image in the images tab and select the relevant load image button. We can set the location of the image to the left or the right, and we can move its X and Y offsets by the relevant sliders in the middle of the property editor. Let's readjust the size of this list now. OK, to give the image a title, let's go to the Title tab. Select the title we want, either enter it or select from a spreadsheet cell. And now let's adjust the appearance of the text. In the list, highlight selected and unselected text in turn to set fonts, colors and alignments. In the background tab, we set the background color, transparency of both the background and border. To change the curvature of the corners, use the corner radius slider. To embed the tile icons into the Swift so that we do not need a web connection to view them, go back to the images tab. At the bottom, select Store Images. Then select the range of images, don't forget the URL format in the spreadsheet, and click the Load button. Go to the Click Visibility sub-tab of Behavior to make the list become visible on an action somewhere in the spreadsheet. Select Test Visibility to turn on Visibility Checking. When the status and key values are the same, the list will become visible. If you want the list to disappear once a selection has been made, as we do in this case, click the Hide on Select button. We can add animation in the Effects and List Bounce tabs. To make the list bounce on movement and selection, check the Use List Bounce option. The duration, height, number of repeats of the bounce 
can all be adjusted with the relevant slider in this tab. All we need now is a button to store the value of the list selection and to show the list when it's selected. So let's hide the list for the moment and drag in an Inner Vista Advanced Text component. Bind the text value to the output selection of the list. Set the font family, size and colour. Now let's make the text look and act like a button. Give the text a background and set a gradient colour to that background. Round off the background with a corner. In the Filters tab, give the background a drop shadow. In the Behaviour Advanced Options, set a toggle. A useful feature here is that by setting both the values to 1 for a toggle, this will force the list to always show when the button is checked. We need this behaviour as the list is going to hide itself. Before we preview, don't forget to move the button below the list. Now, previewing the list, we can see the functionality we set out to achieve. The list is animated and the button that drives it stores the list selection. Thank you very much for your attention. You can find out more at www.innovista.com or contact us at info at Thank you again.